was there because the MGC is the artist, and we are here on Talk of the Town. And these artists are coming from DC, man. Shout out to DC too, man. You know what I mean? We gotta spread love from all across the DMV. You know, I was talking to somebody, and it was like they don't they don't add uh, Baltimore to the whole DMV situation. What's up with that? I mean, I, don't, I had nothing to do. With <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm from Washington DC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 I fuck with Maryland, I fuck with Virginia and Maryland, I want to put Baltimore with Maryland, I fuck with Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, I, I, would, I guess I'd take that up with people that say they be. Right, 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 I'm right, already on top, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so it was a uh, shift in the presidential office in D.C., like, do y'all feel the effects of that on the streets in D.C. right now with Trump being in office? Do y'all feel that? Like, you see any changes? I smoke weed every day, so I don't really pay attention. You don't really pay attention? And, and like the finances, like uh, like taxes or, you know what I mean, prices and things in that shift? Like, can I be honest? Yeah. Fuck all of them. Fuck, Fuck the system, period. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even vote when Obama was in office. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Obama did something, but this nigga ain't doing nothing. I mean, but we was all we, we all knew we was cool after that man got out of office anyway, so. Um, but I would like to say for the no, I didn't vote this presidency. But for Donald Trump, um, as of right now, I wouldn't give too much attention because he hasn't been in office that long. I right. say let's watch first, let's watch, see right. what he does to affect us before we judge because we want to <laughs> generate change and hope. You know what I'm saying? How can we hope for a difference and like a different behavior if we're just totally off the grip criticizing, saying, "Oh, he's going to do this." We don't know what he's going to do. So far, I've seen him, you know, give a whole Chicago a whole new, you know. Um, police force out there, so he's doing little things. I'm like, let's just watch before we just, you know, get angry at him and point. Maybe, yeah, you know, whole police force, man, they, they police killing it. Right? <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> you know, he did, drop, he did drop, drop bombs on Surrey. He dropped bombs on Surrey. You know, he um, uh, you know, he all over the place. I just wanted to know, you know, what I mean, if anything shifted like in the whole, you know, what I mean environment in D.C. with him coming into office, but they say he don't even stay at the White House and shit, so fuck that nigga Donald Trump, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, MVC, tell us a little bit more about yourself. You on social media? Yes, I am on Instagram at MGC official page. Um, I'm on Facebook as well, and Snapchat, MGC. So you, uh, what project you working on right now? You got something coming up? Yes, I'm working on a few things. I want to keep that under wraps right now. Just to guys, the guests, and I keep the guests waiting. That not too long though. Um, and Azir, what, what did you? Uh, what's your social media? Um, my uh, Facebook is Azir Kush. Uh, IG Azir A Z I R underscore Swag with two G's. Um, I'm not on Twitter. I gotta get my now. Uh, YouTube, you know, you just. Type in it's gorgeous music, or you can just type in uh, Isaiah Kush to watch all my stuff that's on YouTube. Okay, okay. Just Google my name, everything will pop up, social media, and everything. Okay. So, uh, what what influenced y'all to, uh, you know, do the music like an artist that influenced you, like, you know, to really want to do this coming up as a child and up in the adult years? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Okay, what about Lil Wayne? Since since a young man, I mean, I grew up. That that's that's the only artist that stuck stuck for that long. You know what I'm saying? It was two. Of course, it was Tupac. You know what I'm saying? That that's the legend that that will always be the best rapper, dead or alive. You know what I'm saying? Who knows <laughs> where he's at? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Other than that, man, it was Wayne. That's that's the only one I could I could think of. I would definitely say just the whole movement of the 90s as far as like, you know, TLC, Leah, Mary J. Bly, everybody been involved in it. I genuinely just love music and listening to them growing up just inspired me to want to sing. Like, I genuinely just like singing just because, you know, like what he used to say, I get up on the mic and I sing just because I want to sing. So it's just a genuine, a genuine niche and a genuine talent that I just grew up to have and love to do. Okay, okay. So, um, what do you think about the uh, state of the, um, R&B game or the hip hop game right now, and what's going on in the industry with these new up and coming rappers in the game? Man, it's <laughs> <laughs> a lot going on, man. I mean, there's a lot of coonery going on. Because I want to put my soul in the category, man. You know what I'm saying? It's 
look like they 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 not even motherfucking. They not even motherfucking throwing rocks at the jail. They jumping over that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, damn, you gonna see me on social media with the end of the dog. Yeah, I'm over here. And then they gonna pull your dumb ass over. You know <laughs> Just gotta be more humble with them. You know, most of these upcoming artists, man. So for the people that's that's trying to make it, man, it's humble yourself. What can you do with my, my say? Sit down. Be, be humble. humble. Be humble. Yeah. Be humble. Yeah. 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 Shit. <laughs> already, already. What about you? What you think about the R and B and the hip hop game right now? As of right now, I don't know what to say about them right now. Right now, I just feel like they're just getting passed by through anything, you know, with the beat. There's no more real music that I'm hearing anymore, and that's what I want to bring back. Just real music, something that you can, you know, vibe to, feel to, ride to, and really understand what they're talking about, not just a hot beat and an auto tune here and an auto tune. There. Hey, we gotta hit like. I want to get right back down to the nitty gritty, to the to the roots of the shit. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. So um, coming up, like, uh, what do you see yourself within the next year? Like, what do you what do you want to be within the next year with your music? Like, what are your goals? Um, I want to be by next year. Yeah. I might be asking asking for a lot, but I might not. I want to be global. You know what I'm saying? I want to be overseas by next year. That's how hard I'm going to work. I'm going to be overseas by next year. That's where the money at, man. Yeah. Everything we do is foreign anyway. So I'm trying to go with it. Most of the artists now, for real, like, even if you look back at, like, Wiz Khalifa, mm -hmm. he didn't really blow up in the States at first. He, he did his thing, but he went overseas. Yeah. And once he blew up over there, also ASAP Rocky, they blew up overseas. Mm -hmm. And then people start feeling him in the States. So that's a good that's a good place to reach right there, bro. Right. Real right. tough. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I was gonna wait for since Cushion Orange Jew. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nineteen and making university, definitely. Already, already. So um, if you could collaborate with anybody in the game right now, like who who would you think that you would reach out to for collab? Um, Wayne. Wayne, <laughs> <laughs> off top. Off <laughs> top. Yeah. And I wanna do a song with Black Youngster too, but my brother, he, he just like the door that motherfucker too, so. Who else, man? It's a few, it's a few. Uh, Moneybag, yo. Yeah, you like rocking man. right now. And he going there. Uh, motherfucker, who else? It's how I, uh, I fuck with 21 Savage, so he just like it. It's issue, bro. Two more cup this jump. That's. I'm gonna do a song with Lil Boosie, too. I can't even. Yeah, I got it. I got to <laughs> do a song with Lil You gotta do a song with Lil Boosie. That's what it matters, though. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't even thinking of uh, his name when, when, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking of like some other kind of odds, but I most definitely gotta do a song with Lil Boosie. Boosie just seemed like just that cool ass nigga, like you go in the studio with him and say, let's it just be like, you don't even feel like you round nobody, fam. You, you feel like you just in the middle of the room. On the top. Damn, man. So if you could collaborate with anybody. You know, this might be a bit above my reach, but I know he will be so honored because he's from the DMV, even though I'm representing DC, the Diamond City, that's a different, but definitely Chris Brown. Okay. Absolutely, definitely Chris Brown. He's a hit maker. You know, I know he got the city in him, so he would definitely understand my vibe and where I'm coming from. So definitely Chris all day. Chris Brown, yeah. Chris Brown, man. Hey. He been making a lot of noise this year with that tour for real. Tour him shut the city down. So, um, and I was, uh, we had some more music. You got some more music? You send me over real quick. Oh, most definitely got some more. Send me some more music over for real. We're going to take a little break and I'll uh, come back. Talk of the time, man. Right here, right now. We have a Z Kush, MGC. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous music up in the building, man. And uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 